Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and today I will be talking to you about my list of the five best beginner mirrorless cameras for 2022. Stay tuned. Hey YouTubers, today I will be talking about the five best mirrorless cameras in 2022. Now back in 2020, I had made a list, but since then, things have changed. Technology has changed, COVID happened, competition has been there, a lot of stuff has occurred, and the whole landscape for mirrorless cameras has changed in a couple of years. Now, one thing I want to mention is that all mirrorless cameras have sensor sizes. The bigger the size, in general, the better the quality of the image, the better the light sensitivity, and so on and so forth. For the sake of this conversation, there's one inch sensors, there's APS-C sensors, and there's full frame. The rule in the past was that the APS-C sensor could not take in the light as well as the full frame. Technology has changed, processors within the camera have changed, so you can get an excellent quality photo out of an APS-C sensor. Full frame sensors are in general better, but they used to be extremely expensive. Now they're a bit cheaper. They're more affordable than they used to be. So in this list, there are a couple of full frame sensor cameras because they've become more affordable. The other thing is that within the five that I have, Two of the cameras are Sony cameras. Other cameras in the list are Fujifilm, Canon, and Nikon. Now, the one that has been left out this year is Panasonic. Without further ado, let's just get to the list. You guys are gonna find out which of the Sonys are there, which Panasonic was thrown out, and why Canon came in at... The 24.2 megapixel Sony A6600 is one of the latest models from the now legendary A6000 line. Sony took what was great with the A6000 and either kept it or improved it. The A6600 offers everything you would need to get going for your photography and your filmmaking. You see, size is becoming a determining factor in everyone's camera choice. The smaller, the lighter, the better. Sony wrote the book on packing lots of features in a small package, and this camera is a testament to years of fine tuning. Anyone wishing to expand to filming will not be disappointed with the A6600. Also, with the years, both Tamron and Sigma and other third-party manufacturers offer exceptional lens offerings for this great powerhouse. Good and less expensive lenses are now quite available for the Sony line. Although Nikon was late into the mirrorless camera ecosystem, they came in strong and aggressive. Known for just offering a good stills photography solution, now they offer excellent video capability as well. The Nikon Z5 is now one of the best entry-level full-frame cameras out there. Its price is crazy competitive too. The 24.3 megapixel full-frame Nikon Z5 offers what many other camera manufacturers can only offer in their smaller sensor sizes. Among its many specs, this little demon offers in-body image stabilization, eye autofocus, beautiful EVF, and LCD for image preview, and 60p 1080 video. I have always loved the idea of a backwards compatible camera. All that counts is glass, everyone. Via an adapter, this camera seamlessly talks with a whole generation of older Nikon glass. This opens up a bunch of opportunities for photographers to save on older lenses and benefit from some of the best glass in the business. All camera manufacturers have attacked the full frame sensor camera challenge head on. The Sony a7C is priced higher than other entry-level full-frame cameras, but wow, what this little demon has to offer is quite amazing. 
the Sony A7C offers. Five axis in body image stabilization, top of industry autofocus, crazy video production capabilities, and tons of amazing features for the price you have to pay. For those who want to grow with a camera, this might be one of your best bets. In the full frame price versus feature category, this camera is indeed number one. This camera really excels for anyone wanting to dabble in video production, vlogging, or producing any sort of YouTube social media content. You just will not be disappointed with the Sony a7C. Among some of the video features it offers, amazing continuous autofocus, 4K video downsampled from 6K, S-Log high dynamic range video for those who prefer color grading, continuous eye autofocus, IBIS for movie and stills, and a flip out screen for selfies. All this with stunning image quality. Fujifilm has always been the leader in APS-C size sensor technology. They have pushed this tech to its limits and have created some of the best cameras on the market today. Their lenses are also known for their excellent optics and their camera bodies for their lovely old school ergonomics. You can tell that Fujifilm really cares about what makes an image appealing. When holding the XS10 in your hands, you also discover their attention to the picture taking experience. In general, I've always admired how Fujifilm has done things. And again, we go back to optics. To me, optics are the most important part of any camera choice, and Fujifilm will not disappoint. The Fujinon 1855 kit lens is stunning and offers the best bang for the buck optics for any photographer who wants a kit lens. Canon recently attacked the mirrorless camera market hard with models like the EOS R6 and the EOS R5. They have been making cameras for a very, very long time. Now the Canon EOS M6 Mark II combines Canon's years of experience with its spirit of innovation. The Canon EOS M6 is a perfect choice. It's light, small, and has amazing features at an affordable price. But what is really cool is that this camera offers amazing autofocus and great, great, great performance. Now the Canon M6 Mark II is also competitively priced and surpasses all in this list for bang for the buck. You will not only be bedazzled by what the Canon M6 offers, but also be in full discovery mode for a long, long time in the future, because technically it is a deeply feature rich and integrated product. Like Nikon, it offers a legacy compatibility, so you'll be able to use all the older lenses you might have if you've already owned a Canon in the past. quickly let's go through them one excitement I think it's really important to have a camera that when you take a picture when you pull those JPEGs out of that camera right off the bat when you pull it out of the box you start seeing photos that really freak you out and get you excited number two cost because you're about to invest money into something it's not a good idea to go out and spend a lot of money because there is a possibility that you just might not like photography and might want to move on Number three, uh, can it beat your phone? This thing right here can take some pretty darn good photos. To what extent can this camera actually outperform the phone and outperform the phone to a point where it's actually substantially better, where you go, wow. Another point I thought was important to mention is lens availability and upgradability. In the event that you really love what you're doing and you love photography and you get really excited, it's always beneficial if you can start 
looking to other options to learn even more, get better lenses. I don't like to call it future-proof because I think that term just friggin' sucks. The last factor, which is how cool is your camera? That's it. Cameras can just feel cool. And just that new camera smell or a new car smell or whatever that is, is, is a lot of fun. Some people will like a certain camera just because they feel it feels cool. And we cannot ignore that fact. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just tell me which cameras do you think I should have maybe added to the list? And which cameras do you think I should have thrown out and shouldn't even be there? You guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Mm -hmm.